Hi, and welcome to another Movie Magic Scheduling Tips and Tricks. I'm your host, Stephen Kinchelik, and in this video, I'll be going over moving elements. Now, here's the situation. I've been doing my schedule and putting all my stunt players into the cast members category. In this particular production, they wanted to see the stunt players in the stunts category. So, I had to move all those elements into a different category. Here's how I did it. So here I am on my breakdown sheet, and as you can see, I've already got some uh, stunt players in the cast members category. And like I said, I want to move these into a stunt players category. Now, I have a stunts category already, which I'm not really using, so um, instead of creating a whole new category, I think I'm just going to reuse this and repurpose it. So I'm going to go up to Design, Category Manager, and I'm going to select the stunts category and click edit. And here I can just rename it. And I can set a lot of options in here if I want to, if I want to auto assign board IDs, uh, even edit some of the element properties. But we'll go over that in another video. I'm going to click OK, and as you can see, it's already modified it. And you know what? I really want this closer to the cast members uh, because it just sort of relates better. So I'm going to click the up arrow to move it a little bit closer. I'm going to keep it under background actors though because background actors are usually a little bit more important to me just in terms of they have more of an occurrence than stunt players usually do for me. So I'm going to go ahead and close that and so now I have to move all those stunt elements into its own stunt players category. So to do that easily I'm going to go up to breakdown element manager and this brings up the element manager window which is very useful for a number of reasons and one of the easiest things to do here is to move elements from one category to another and move multiple elements so uh, what I'm gonna do is select all my stunt players and I've sort of notated them by having an X next to the board ID so I can easily spot them so I'm gonna go down here and select all my stunt players and I'm going to click this Move Elements button. And when I click that, I can select which category I want to move them to. And all I have to do is select Stunt Players, click OK. And it's going to give me a warning letting me know that the element properties are going to be discarded because uh, categ from category to category, the element properties are usually different. So when moving them from one category to another, the element properties get discarded. I'm OK with that. I'm going to click Yes. And boom all my stunt players got moved over to the new category. And notice it kept all the start and finish dates and all their totals and everything. So they're still in the schedule where they were. They're just now in a different category. So if I close this, you can see the stunt players that were assigned to this breakdown sheet are still there. They're just in a different category. So that flexibility helped me get the schedule in the format that they wanted. If you have suggestions on how to make the application more flexible, please send them to moviemagic at entertainmentpartners.com. Also, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can get updates on when we add new videos. You can also follow us on Twitter, twitter.com slash movie underscore magic. And also be sure to check entertainmentpartners.com for all our new products and services. Thanks for watching.